We stay with India, but with a slightly different focus. Since Prime Minister Narendra Modi has come to power, India has reached far and wide in hopes of increasing investment. Ties between India and Israel have also been booming, and today's news about the partnership between IT group Tech Mahindra and Converse is the latest sign. We're joined in the studio by Asia business expert Tal Reshev for a look at India's expanding cloud. Hello. Mr. Reshev, thanks for joining us. Thank you. So what does this latest deal between Converse and Mahindra Tech mean for India-Israel ties? Well, it means, uh, first of all, a lot for the Israeli uh, high-tech industry because uh, we have a very strong, big uh, partner for investment with very deep pockets uh, presented by India. Uh, Tech Mahindra is not the first to invest. Well, by the way, it's not the first investment of Tech Mahindra. They've already uh, acquired uh, an Israeli company before that. And uh, Tata has uh, invested a significant sum in uh, developments in Israel before. And uh, these things are progressing and the more investments are coming to the Israeli uh, high-tech industry, uh, it's good news, of course, for the Israeli. Is it good news for Converse? And Converse is one of the big stars of the, of the, you know, the dot-com bubble, essentially, which has been going downhill with all kinds of nightmare stories um, over the past 15 years. Um, is this a good thing for Converse? Is this a good thing for Converse employees? Uh, I, I, honestly, it is too early to know. Uh, I, I don't know. Time will tell. Uh, apparently, Tech Mahindra has a very good uh, experience with uh, purchasing companies and putting them on rails to, to do better performance. So if they're going to do the same thing with Converse, it is going to be good news for the employees. There are promises of $50 million being invested over the course of three years, but then there's also rumors of people being laid off. But I guess that's true for any kind of situation like yeah, that. Yeah, and the it? rumors, I don't think they're based on any facts. Rumors are rumors. Uh, in these cases. Well, let's move on. Essentially, I mean, how do you see Modi uh, pushing India investments beyond this? What, what, is, what is that significance for India? Uh, it's uh, it's a lot. It's not only for India. It's uh, for, for the world economy. I mean, uh, India is uh, the, the phrase that everybody is talking about for the last 20 years. Everybody right. is expecting the India to boom, to explode, and things are not yet happening. They were happening in Southeast Asia. They have, were happening, of course, in uh, China. And it sounds like now, after the election of Narendra Modi, uh, finally somebody is putting the finger on the things that have to be changed. Uh, you know, uh, corruption, nepotism, uh, segregation. Pollution. Uh, Pollution, I mean, of it's course. one of the biggest stories now in terms of groundwater. I mean, polluted. I mean, essentially, you know, you have China, which is now, of course, slowing, but at least, you know, giving lip service to the fact that, oh, yeah, we have to take care of the environment. But is, to what extent is India really doing that and dealing with that? It seems like the focus is really on investment. Uh, yeah, for, for the moment, India is not really focusing uh, on, the, uh, on the clean tech area. Uh, if we take uh, uh, China as an example, China also took time until they got to the point where they were uh, well off enough in order to invest in the, uh, in the environment. Uh, India is not yet there. India wants, uh, among the other things that I uh, have pointed out, they want to improve improve the, the infrastructure and they want to improve the rate of uh, uh, production from, because for the moment their economy is based uh, first of all on inner consumption and then on services right. and they want to produce more and to export more products. I see. Well, Tal Reshev, thank you very much for joining us for more in India. Thank you. Thank you.